Hello all, it's Jackie with Vintiques 98. I hope y'all are having a good evening. Um, I wanted to share with y'all my Omega collection as well as my choker necklaces. Um, I will be showing a few of my mesh necklaces as well. I have Monet pieces, Cora pieces, Napier. Um, I have one that was made in West Germany and one that I recently acquired the name on it, I believe, was Gay Boyer. I have no idea. I've never heard of that, but um, I will show that one to y'all. Right here we have this Omega. It's the rib. It's actually kind of lightweight for as big as it is. Um, this one is a Napier. It has white. Let's see if I can. Three creamy white stones in the center. They have a shine on them, kind of like a mother of pearl, but um, they are not. This one has the uh, fold over clasp. And then we have another one here. It's just very thick all the way around. And then we have this one. It's actually wide here and then it's tapered to small um, this one's white oval beads with um a lavender and white enamel it has accented gold tone around the enamel This piece is unsigned. It has the little fold-over clasp. But most of these have the fold-over clasp on them. This one here is five sections. Each one of these is a section with a double clasp on it. So if you wanted it smaller, you take that off and then you'd have the regular. This piece here is a Monet. Edging kind of looks like a herringbone brushed and a polished finish on it. Up here we have a creamy white with a red and gold tone on it. This is more of a V neck design. This is the one that um, has the stamp, the tag made in West Germany. I'm gonna go right here. Um, yeah, oh, it's a little messed up. This here is actually three pieces. Has the pierced earrings. I don't know if y'all can see, but it has like a hammered look on it. The earrings do, and the five disc at the front with the matching bracelet. This beaded braided necklace, beaded braided, yeah. The uh, beads have a, like a little luster shine to them. Nothing too fancy there. Um, right here, I just call this an S necklace. I put my slides on it. Different slides that I have. No, no signature, nothing, nothing on there. And then I have a black beaded necklace, kind of like the white. This one's a little bit thicker, though. Right here, this piece and this piece are hand-beaded choker necklaces. I have wore this one. Um, I wear it that way with this part in the front. Easier for me to put on and off, take on and off. And then we have this one here. It's white. With almost, it looks like an amber colored bead 
on this one. Right here we have some mesh earrings and a bracelet. These are clip-on. These are not signed. And up here we have three mesh bib necklaces. This one and this one are Whiting and Davis. Let's see. Both of them. This one is unsigned. It's, a, it's actually a lot heavier than the other two. Um, this piece I was not going to get. I picked it up at a flea market. Oh, I'm trying to get it off here. I wasn't going to get, but the lady gave me uh, I can't say no by <laughs> deal. So it has a snap. Um, as y'all know, the White and the Davis has the hook on them. And I've only seen them with hooks. I've never seen one with a snap on it before. So, yeah. But like I said, this one is very heavy. Almost pulls when you wear it. But I've only ever tried it on. I haven't wore it for that reason, that it is kind of heavy. I have this coro necklace, coro necklace right here. I don't know. Let me zoom in. Let's see, very lightweight with the tassels a black and white beaded necklace. Then we have this choker necklace right here. It just push it together and it unlocks like that. <laughs> I can't get it back together, but yep. We go over to another choker. This one has individual links, as y'all can see, fold over clasp. This one has the double clasp on it to make it smaller. Swirl creamy enamel and each link. Um, yeah, this one's a Monet. We have another mesh necklace right here that is scalloped edges with rhinestones. Prong set rhinestones. Here is the one that I said was the um, most recent one. This one is actually too small for me. It's almost like a 14. It doesn't adjust or anything. It has creamy white enamel. A little rip bolt on there, basket weave. I like the way that um, it's put together right here in the links. Let's turn it over and see. Maybe I'll see the name right there. So I know nothing about that maker. Right here is another Omega necklace that's large at the end and then it tapers to small. It has a pear-shaped cabochon with red sides, the same color. It's a Napier piece. It's a fold-over clasp. And just your basic Omega right here. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> the same here. This one has individual links. Each one of these is a link. This one's unsigned. But it's very pretty. I have this red one. 
it's actually kind of thick. I don't know if y'all can see how thick it is with the S-link. Fold over clasp, but don't, yeah, this one's not signed. This one actually is so perfect when you wear it. Perfect fit. Have this necklace and earrings at. I'm not sure what you would call this, but. Polished and kind of a rope style on there. It swirls. Clip. And the same with the necklace. Kind of a V-shape also. And last but not least, we have two enameled necklaces. This one's black link chain on it. It is signed. This is a Monet piece. This one is very lightweight. And this one here, I love the color on it. Teal enamel with the pierced earrings to match. Yep, this one is signed also. No name. So that's my choker and Omega collection that I have. I hope y'all enjoyed. I will, um, oh, I saw my feet again. <laughs> Here we go. Just a quick look over of what I have here. So I hope y'all enjoyed. If you liked it, um, please like and share.